Here's a list of every male 100 meter world record holder in the last 110 years. Before Usain Bolt, there was Asafo Powell who held the world record of 9.74. Before Asafo Powell, there was Maurice Green who held the world record of 9.79. And before Maurice Green, there was Donovan Bailey who held the world record of 9.84. Now here's a name that you're probably not familiar with, Jim Hines, the first man to officially break the 10 second barrier after running 9.95 in the 1968 Olympics. He held that record for 15 years. That is the longest time that anyone has ever held the male 100 meter world record. Right now, it's been 13 years since Usain Bolt has held the world record of 9.58. The question is, as new sprinters rise, will his record fall? In this video, I'm going to investigate if Marcel Jacobs is actually close to breaking Usain Bolt's 100 meter world record. But first, here's a question for you. If you could pick, would you prefer multiple world records or multiple gold medals? Let me know in the comments. Now, don't change your answer, but in case you're wondering, Usain Bolt prefers the gold medals and here's why. Probably in 15 years, somebody's going to run faster, you know what I mean? You never know how long it's going to last. But one, I've won three Olympics back to back to back that's something that if somebody wants to beat that they have to be well focused Usain Bolt first broke the 100 meter world record in 2008 with a time of 9.72 that's a step Usain Bolt pulling away the field Usain Bolt takes the men's 100 meters it's a new world record months later he improved his own world record with a time of 9.69 until finally breaking that record as well with a time of 9 in 2009, at which point he was only 22 years young. To this day, Usain Bolt holds the world record in the 100 meters, 200 meters, 4 by 100 relay, and 150 meters. Here's how well it pays to be the fastest man in the world. Usain Bolt didn't just run blazing fast on the track, he ran up his bank account crazy fast as well. As a result of his superhuman feats, in 2017, Forbes reported that Usain Bolt made a whopping 34 million in a single year. Statistically, it's actually hard to make money as an Olympian. This report by the World Athletics states that the first place for a major competition pays $30,000. When Usain Bolt made over 30 million in a single year, most of that reportedly came from sponsorships. Apart from going down in history, the financial incentives are obviously super high for being the fastest man in the world. No wonder there's so many sprinters fighting for first place, with Marcel Jacobs currently stepping on everyone's necks. Shout out to Way to Win. I recently watched their video where they reported that Marcel Jacobs' coach claims that Jacob can run 9.4 in training, a time that would easily destroy the world record if he can do that in an official meet. Before we analyze the numbers and see how likely it is, let's address some of the rumors around his name. Because despite how fast he ran in the Tokyo Olympics, he's facing controversy even faster. Doping allegations are common in the world of elite sports, but something else that many are talking about is how Marcel Jacobs went from never running sub 10 to becoming a 100 meter Olympic champion with a time of 9.80. Here's the thing that nobody is talking about. Usain Bolt specialized in the 200 meters until he asked his coach to give him one shot at running the 100 meters. In his first official 100 meter race, he ran 10.03. The very next year, he broke the world record with 9.69. That's a .34 drop in his 100 meter time. Before winning gold in Tokyo with a 9.80, Marcel Jacobs ran a 10.10 .10 the year before. That's a 0.30 drop in his 100 meter time. And he actually ran a 10.03 season best in 2019. Compared to that, it was a 0.23 drop in time. In fact, Marcel Jacobs ran the 100 meters for 10 years officially by the time he joined the 9 second club. Personally, I'm not here to defend nor accuse any athletes. I'm simply here to provide more context. Now, more importantly, let's review the numbers and discuss how likely it is that Marcel Jacobs actually destroys Usain Bolt's 100 meter record. First, let's take a look at the height of the five most recent 100 meter world record holders. Usain Bolt, 6'5", Asafa Powell, 6'3", Maurice Green, 5'9", Dalvin Bailey, 6'1", Leroy Burrell, 6 feet. Four out of five are at least 6 feet tall. On average, they are 6'1". Marcel Jacobs is 6'1". 
Now let's take a look at how Jacob's reaction time stacks up against Usain Bolt. During his world record in 2009, Usain Bolt reportedly had a reaction time of 0.146 seconds off the blocks, which was the third slowest. Jacob's reaction time was reportedly 0.161, which was the second slowest. Now let's take a look at the blazing fast speeds required to smash records. Neither Bolt nor Jacob's are the fastest starters, but they do dominate when it comes to their top speed. Usain Bolt has been able to hit a top speed fast enough to outrun a polar bear, but not fast enough to catch your local cat. Marcel Jacobs ran 26.76 miles per hour during the Tokyo Olympic Finals, the fastest of anyone on the track. Here's the thing, just as important as it is to hit super fast speeds, it's just as important to maintain it. According to the New York Times, the Italian 100 meter champion hit his top speed around 70 meters in the Tokyo Finals. Meanwhile, the Spring King hit his top speed around 60 meters in 2009. In the last 20 meters of their race, Jacobs went from 26 miles per hour to just under 25. In contrast, during the last 20 meters of his record-breaking race, Bolt ran at nearly 28 miles per hour and finished just under 27. Something that might be attributed to the fact that he specialized in the 200 meters and holds the world record for that event too. Now let's look at how many strides it takes the fastest man on earth to cross the finish line. On average, it takes both 41 strides to run the 100 meters. Jacobs took 45 when he ran his fastest 100 meters in the Tokyo Finals. Finally, let's talk about age. The year before running 9.58, Usain Bolt had already held the world record at 9.69, making a 0.11 drop in time. Right now, if Marcel Jacobs shaves 0.11 off his personal best, that would put him at 9.69 tying Johan Blake and Tyson Gay for the second fastest 100 meter of all time. Blake was 22 when he ran that. Gay was 27. Marcel Jacobs is currently 27. However, when Bolt first became the fastest man on earth, he was only 21. Based on these numbers, in order for Marcel Jacobs to destroy Usain Bolt's record, he would need to improve his reaction time, hit a higher top speed, maintain it for longer, and fight the greatest challenge of all aging. I definitely do see him running even faster, especially at the World Championships later this year. It's also highly possible to see him running the second fastest time, but to run even faster than that and then to run under 9.58, if we're being honest, is going to be tough. I don't want to say it's impossible though because technology is only getting better in terms of training, analyzing performance, and enhancing recovery. Is he really going to do it? These numbers can help us make predictions, but at the end of the day, only time will tell. In the meantime, you can watch this video that goes over the science of how Usain Bolt warms up before smashing world records. Click here to find out how you can easily copy his warm-up routine to run even faster.